All right, so it seems like Sega want to set the record straight with regards to the game plan of our Lord and Savior, the Son of the Hedgehog, and we've gotten some dates that we need to talk about because some of these things are a bit different than we expected. So we're going to get to all of this. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and hopefully 70,000 subscribers before Sonic Frontiers comes out. Hold on, hold on. Are you still using regular old browsers, aka non-gaming browsers? Well, it's time to change that because this video is sponsored by Opera GX. Now, what is Opera GX? You don't know? It's the world's first browser for gamers, packed with a ton of cool features. Firstly, the customization. I mean, no other browser allows you to customize your experience as much as Opera GX does. You can choose from Opera special themes, wallpapers, and colors. Or you can customize everything from scratch and pick the colors you like the most and even upload your own background photos. You can even pick from several different available animated wallpapers from Opera add-ons. And I mean, look at these, man. They're so cool, man. But Opera GX is more than just customization. You've got video pop-out so you can watch streams or videos and work or study at the same time. You can separate videos from the browser into a floating adjustable video frame, which means you can have your favorite anime Sonic X in the background while you work. I mean, who can resist seeing Chris Thorndike while they do their homework? And this feature also works for things like Discord, which you have neatly in the sidebar as well. And on top of that, you've got GX Player, which lets you keep your favorite streaming services in one place. You can log into Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music directly from the sidebar. And if you decide you want to play a YouTube video in your regular browser tab, the player will automatically pause your music and then resume it automatically once your video has finished playing. And you might be thinking that's cool and all, but then I gotta move all my settings from my previous browser and all that stuff. No, no, they've got a quick import tool that allows you to quickly import all your settings from your previous browser straight into Opera GX like your browsing history, bookmarks and cookies. Super simple. Now remember you can download this browser for free using the link in the description below and you can finally elevate your browsing experience. So we got this tweet from Dave Lutty and it says here, Sega have just sent me an email and would like you all to know this. And for the record, this is an actual YouTuber who has like, you know, the ends with Sega. They got like press emails and shit. It's not like some 4chan bullshit, okay? It's not one of those things. But it says here, Sonic Movie 2, $331.64 million worldwide, number one movie in 47 markets, Frontier still coming this year. And then it says 2023, third movie and live action Sonic series, which don't get excited because then he corrects himself says after 2023 i'm very tired and we see the press images here the first one is partly cropped from the press email or whatever and it says son of the hedgehog 2 movie box office surpasses 331.64 million dollars worldwide breaking its predecessor record for top grossing video game adaptation of all time and it says co-produced the paramount or the paramount did the whole fucking thing okay when the design was shit everyone's like it's not sega's fault it's paramount's fault but now it's like co-produced because it's good shut the fuck up okay anyway the second image is where shit gets interesting. They lay out the game plan. This is 2022 March. We released feature films on that show 2 worldwide. In Japan, will be released in August because I guess fuck Japan, right? I mean, they did create Sonic, but they, let them wait till August. I mean, the shit's being pirated right now, so I don't, I don't think they're waiting till August. Let's put it that way, okay? Then it says June to be launched Sonic Origins worldwide. This year to be premiered Sonic Prime worldwide. Right? Why did they do this shit? It says winter to be launched Sonic Frontier worldwide. They, they ain't even at the S. Aim at the S. And then it says after 2023, set to be released the third feature film and live action Sonic series of Paramount Plus. So after 2023, so I'm guessing 2024, which makes sense for the third movie, because yeah, two years makes sense. I know some people are saying it will come out in 2023. What are you talking about, Pram? And even some people are like, it will come out 2022. But I mean, to be fair, there were some kids there. So I, I don't know. Some people were just getting a bit excited thinking they were going to cough up the third movie by the end of this year. I don't know but the live action series they literally already announced that i was coming in 2023 so it's like they've delayed it already because now they're saying after 2023 i don't know if it's to make room for that modern 2d game that we've been getting these leaks of maybe it's there i doubt they'll push the whole thing back just to make room for a 2d modern game but i'm guessing they need more time to get it right i don't know what else they're gonna put in it and they realize that they need more time for the scope or whatever or they don't want it to be too close to sonic prime but this is what's happening here and obviously with sonic prime it says 
this year. You see, with the movie and of Origins, they gave specific months. But with Prime, it says this year, and then Frontiers says winter. This is this is the kind of shit that annoys me because it says winter, but if you Google winter, it says the winter months are December, January, February. So if it's this year, that basically means December, right? And yet they wouldn't just put December. It's almost like they just put a vague period because you might be thinking, oh, it could be November, right? Maybe they just meant fall. Maybe they're just using the term winter wrong. And I'm not denying that possibility, but what I believe is they're saying winter because they don't want to commit to December. They just want to be like winter. And then if they need to push it back, they could push it back or push it forward. I don't know. They're just, they're being vague. Like, why does it say winter and then this year for prime? Like, just put the months there. This shit's so convoluted. I feel like I'm watching Doctor Strange in the multiverse of no stakes. But yeah, I mean, if they're really trying to push this out for this year, which I'm guessing they want to hit the holiday release, right? I mean, Sega's never done that before, but I'm guessing they really want this game to come out this year because they won't commit to a date, yet we're going to be seeing the game in June. So it's like, eventually they're going to have to show something and it's like, we're going to have to get date confirmation by June if this is already not like, this is month confirmation essentially. It's clear that they're struggling to hit this down. If they, if they were sure it was going to be ready by November, I feel like they would have said November by now. But two trailers in and we don't actually have the month yet. We're going to have to wait for the third trailer to actually get the month, even though there is only one winter month left in the year. So clearly it should be December, right? But I don't know. Maybe they want to see if they can get it before Christmas day, like get it like early December. But if they can't do it, then they push it to like mid or even late December. I mean, Sonic Heroes, didn't that come out like the 30th of December or some shit? Yeah, like Heroes was like 30th of December in Japan, then came out January in like the US and February in the UK. It, it was a whole mess in terms of that release schedule. So I'm guessing it might be a similar thing here where it's like they want it to come out for the holiday period because if they miss the holiday period then they're gonna have to drop it in january right which really january so they're probably just like winter like we're gonna make it guys we're gonna make it but then if it doesn't happen then i guess we release it at the absolute end of december or i don't know the fucking 24th or some sh i don't know and then i guess we'll patch out the glitches later right as long as people buy it or what i don't know what they're planning to do maybe they'll do some pre-order bonuses so that people have already pre-ordered the game before the holidays but i'm guessing it would be ideal for them business wise if people could have the game in their hands before christmas day for like christmas presents and shit like that so this whole situation i don't know what's going on but this doesn't give me any sort of faith that it's going to come out before december right they put winter winter begins in december i would love for it to be like an early november release but it's looking like we got at least seven months left but yeah then what do you guys think about this situation we've got the dates or the ballparks straight from the sega press email straight from the horse's mouth do you think frontiers will come before december or do you think december is pretty much locked in do you think they might end up getting pushed to 2023 and how do you feel about the knuckle spin-off not coming out in 2023 but yeah make sure to like on subscribe hit that bell make sure to check out the non-sonic channel the link will be in the description but that's all I have to say right now, so... Do we meet ya?